Hey guys, welcome to the Olympic Central Hub list of my Olympic Channel um, playlist. So today we'll be covering a athlete that is recommended by one of my subscribers. My subscriber's name is Rosemary Nunn. So this video goes out to you. So the athlete that we're going to be covering today is going to be Tamara Mensa. She is the wrestling Olympic champion and the first to make history to win the women's um, wrestling um, freestyle. So Tamara Mensa is born on October 11, 1992 and she is a native of Texas and we know that she basically um, started in Keta, Texas and graduated out of Maryland Baptist uh, College. So she has a lot of connection to the world of wrestling already. She started off earlier in her career in track and field but over time she became um, more professional into wrestling. So her dad was one of her biggest um, cheerleaders and sadly that he passed away during a, um, a coming back from a wrestling uh, tournament. So from then on Tamara Mensa dedicated her strength and her um, studies to her dad and eventually she basically made it to the Olympic uh, trials and managed to go ahead and went to Tokyo and end up making history becoming the first African American woman to win at the freestyle um, wrestling. She also has a lot of accolades that's in her name like in the world championship her experience she has won the 2019 world championships she also won the 2018 senior uh, championship with a bronze medal she is the nine ninth at the 2017 senior world championships and she is a three-time senior world cha um, world team member and university silver um, world silver medalist and she also uh, competed uh, in other um, events too, like the Pan Ams and national championships. So she's also married to Jacob Stock, which also um, is her, um, you know, husband and stuff. Um, but she is very, very uh, good at what she do best. One thing that I'm very happy about that she definitely represented the U.S. very well. She also will continue to work hard to even go further on to even do at her um, the World Championship, which will be happening next year at Eugene, Oregon. And you know, one of her um, best messages that she wanted to not only dedicate this to her dad, but at the same time, she wanted to put more energy and effort for this Olympic game because she wanted to win gold and represent the U.S. So overall, she has like a very positive energy, which is very needed, especially in the climate that we in, especially in this type of Olympics and the fact that she's able to win that with all the crazy di um, things that was going on not having fans nor having anybody in the stadium to you know properly cheer you on overall she ended up winning the gold medal at the tokyo olympic games thus making her history as the first black woman to basically win the gold medal at the freestyle of the women's wrestling she is very profound when it comes to hard work. She said that she had also been working diligently and working extra hard to make it to the games. So the fact that she finally made it, it was a bit of sweet sweat and tears and the emotion just ended up flooding out. You know, to represent her country, she said that it meant a lot to her and that she will continue to like um, 
share her light and help the next generation emerge into the, like the upcoming Olympics and the future. Now she hasn't, you know, enclosed if she's gonna be focusing more next year on her, um, you know, four years later or three years in the future when she has to defend her title as the Olympic champion now. But right now she is savoring the moment she said and she's definitely very happy to defend her her Olympic in the future and you know there's more to come from her she said because she says she wants to be a inspiration for all female athletes or any athlete that's willing to put themselves into a position where to inspire this generation or future generation so I'm very proud of her and it was good for um, one of my subscribers to recommend me um, Tamira uh, Mensa I think she's pretty cool and I will look forward to make more videos on her in the future but until then I believe that she is someone to watch in the future and like I said, the next person up will be in the women's gymnastics. So I will cover most of the highlights of the women's gymnastics soon. And I hope you guys will like that. So there will be a recap every Thursday and Friday. So that way we will cover the entire recap of the Olympics. Now, like I told you guys, everything will not be in order. But... I will pick some of the most highlight moments of the games. So um, check, look out for the upcoming uh, video of the women's gymnastics. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Enjoy.